Recently, I've done a number of commentaries on the infringement of our personal rights during the pandemic. Rights that are protected by the Bill of Rights in the United States Constitution. I believe deeply in these personal freedoms. It's what makes us Americans. But just because you're protected by the Constitution, you shouldn't make bad choices. You shouldn't put others at risk. Many of you reached out to thank me for my Thanksgiving commentary because you had the impression that I was condoning large family gatherings on Thanksgiving. I care deeply about our personal liberties, but I still follow CDC guidelines because I don't want to endanger myself, my family, or my fellow citizens. This is a photograph of my Thanksgiving. For the first time in 20 years, I was home for that holiday and had dinner with my wife Dawn and my two youngest sons, Michael and David. For the first time in 20 years, I didn't have Thanksgiving with my extended family of over 50 people. You see, just because you have the right to do something doesn't make it right. You see, my commentaries were a reaction to laws imposed by governors like Oregon Governor Kate Brown, who not only wanted to restrict your family gatherings in your home, but she wanted your neighbors to snitch on you. That order brought back images of totalitarian and fascist governments of the past. The kind of governments that people like Oregon Governor Kate Brown claim she rejects, but now through her order reflects the worst of. Several mayors and governors across the country who imposed limits on gatherings and shut down restaurants across the country were exposed as hypocrites, like California Governor Gavin Newsom, who was caught maskless at a large party at an upscale restaurant in the Napa Valley. I predicted in that commentary that there would be some politician somewhere that would be caught dripping in the Thanksgiving gravy of his own hypocrisy for not following the same rules he espoused. Well, cue Denver Mayor Michael Hancock. I'm urging, I'm pleading with everyone, please stay home. Please only go out for essential services. Stay home, maybe put up holiday decorations, but stay home. It was one of several impassioned, heartfelt pleas from the mayor who said he had to forego his own plans to enjoy a family Thanksgiving dinner in Mississippi with over 50 people. Here is Mayor Hancock showing up at Denver International Airport in Denver to board a plane to go to Mississippi. These politicians are so predictable. And I know what you're thinking. If these politicians aren't gonna follow their own rules, why should I? Cause you're better than them. You're better than him. Because you know that throughout history, Americans have made great sacrifices to protect each other, to protect our way of life, to protect our constitutional rights. They have made much greater sacrifices than you're being asked to make now. And you just have to hold out a little bit longer. There is light at the end of the pandemic tunnel. The Supreme Court just ruled that New York's strict restriction on the number of people that can go to church or to synagogue is unconstitutional. And there are more rulings from the Supreme Court on our personal liberties during a pandemic to come. And COVID-19 vaccines will be available to all of us by early next year, so we only have to get through a few months. Of course, over those next few months, there will be Christmas and Hanukkah and New Year's. And again, I will do commentaries fighting for your individual rights, especially your individual rights in your own home, with the sincere hope that you'll be smart, that you'll make the right choices, so you and your family can enjoy many holidays to come. I'm Larry Menti. We'll talk again soon. Thank you.